This video shows how to use Demoise theorem for calculating powers of complex numbers. Now it's an extension of the multiplication rule for complex numbers in polar form and you can see it in this blue box here. So if I have r cis theta to the power of n I can make that r to the power of n cis and then times my angle um, theta by n and that formula is on your formula sheet as well. So let's look at some examples. Um, simplify using Dewey's theorem, expressing, expressing your answer in polar form. The first one is 2 cis pi on 4 to the power of 5. So that is going to equal 2 to the power of 5 cis 5 pi on 4. OK, so. 2 to the power of 5, you can work out on your calculator as 32. And when we look at 5 pi on 4, that's 4 pi on 4 plus pi on 4, which is pi plus pi on 4. So we're in our fourth quadrant. Sorry. <laughs> so we're in our third quadrant. Where that's pi on 4, so we need the negative angle that represents that. So we need pi minus pi on 4, which is 4 pi on 4 minus pi on 4, which is 3 pi on 4. So this is going to be 32 cis of negative 3 pi on 4. Okay, part B, cis 7 pi on 4 over cis pi on 3 or the power of 7. So bring the denominator up to the numerator by making a negative power. So you've got cis 7 pi on 4 times cis pi on 3 to the negative 1 on 7 using Demois theorem. You're going to have cis of negative 7 pi on 3. Now we have a multiplication. So these two things are being multiplied. So when we multiply, we add our powers. So we have cis 7 pi on 4 plus negative 7 pi on 3, which is minus 7 pi on 3. Uh, you might want to do this off to the side if you want common denominator of 12. So that's going to be 21 pi on 12 minus 28 pi on 12, which is neg negative 7 pi on 12. So that's cis of negative 7 pi on 12. Okay, so negative 7 pi on 12 is less than negative pi, so we don't need to convert our angle. So that's done. Looking at the next one, simplify 1 plus i to the power of 3 over 1 minus square root of 3 i all to the power of 5. So what we're going to do first is convert to polar form. So convert to polar. Our 1 plus i we have 1 1 so our r squared is going to be 1 squared plus 1 squared 1 plus 1 so r is the square root of 2 and our angle theta Theta is going to be inverse 10 of 1, which is pi on 4. So 1 plus i equals the square root of 2 cis of pi on 4. 1 minus root 3 i. So we're down here. Our r squared is going to be 1 squared plus square root of 3 or squared, which is 1 plus 3, which is 4. So r is 2. And our angle theta, theta is going to be inverse 10 of the square root of 3 over 1, 
which is pi on 3, but we need the negative angle because we're in the fourth quadrant. So that means we have 1 minus root 3i is equal to 2 cis negative pi on 3. So now what we have is square root of 2 cis pi on 4 all cubed all over 2 cis negative pi on 3 all to the power of 5. That then becomes square root of 2 to the power of 3 cis 3 pi on 4 all over 2 to the power of 5 cis negative 5 pi on 3. Square root of 2 to the power of 3 is 2 root 2 cis 3 pi on 4. 2 to the power of 5 is 32 cis negative 5 pi on 3. We're now dividing two complex numbers. So we have 2 root 2 over 32 cis and we're going to subtract our angles. That becomes a plus. Two into two is one, two into thirty-two is sixteen. So you have square root of two over sixteen cis. It's going to be over twelve. So you can do it over the side or you can do it as part of this. I don't really have enough room, so I can do it as part of it. So you've got nine pi on twelve plus twenty pi on twelve, just square root of two over sixteen cis. 29 pi on 12. 29 pi on 12 needs to be put into pi, 0 to pi. So that's going to be 24 pi on 12 plus 5 pi on 12, which is 2 pi plus 5 pi on 12. So that's a rotation plus 5 pi on 12. So we can rewrite it as the square root of 2 over 16 cis of 5 pi on 12. So anything you might want to state is that you've used a Moire's theorem here.